Peggy 16. What's up, guys? Nevin Dravinsky, producer on UFC Undisputed 2010, coming to you from the famed Black House Gym, once again in an undisclosed location somewhere in Los Angeles, California. I'm joined here by Mr. Ed Soros, co-owner of the Black House Gym. Thank you so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. We're going to talk today about some of the improvements and enhancements to the UFC Undisputed 2010 career mode. I think what you'll find is a much more immersive experience, much more representative of what real fighters go through. We have weigh-ins, a lot more interviews. We also have this concept of uh, starting rivalries, and you get to kind of pick a fighter voice, and throughout the interviews, you can decide what kind of response you're gonna give about your opponent, about your sponsors. I mean, Ed, you've been a manager for a long time. You've kind of gone through this. I never really get any sort of antagonistic uh, uh, feelings from, from your guys. Is it just, absolute confidence that these guys have. Definitely is confidence, but I just think that all of our guys are, are, are really good guys. And they're, uh, you know, all of the guys I manage, I, I tell people all the time, it's more like a family. It's more a group of guys that, uh, there's no one that I manage that I, I wouldn't let stay at my house. The game will actually track how you actually proceed in the game. If you're a guy that does a lot of head kicks in the game, eventually your, your opponents will start taking you down or you know going to the ground trying to exploit your weakness Rogan and Goldberg might call out like the guy's knocked out his last five opponents via head kick and so you can't use the same game plan over and over again and with your guys what's what's the thought process that goes on there you know all the guys like to watch uh, a lot of the fights some guys like to watch it less than others but most of the time all the coaches are always paying attention a lot to their previous fights Every fight is different. Um, a perfect example would be the last fight against, uh, you know, Cain Velasquez against uh, Rodrigo. You know, we really thought, even though he was knocking people out, he was really using his wrestling. So we thought that he was going to come in, and, and Rodrigo really believed that he was going to take him down. And you know, he, he came in with, with, with the wrong strategy, and um, and obviously Cain came in with the right strategy right. and won the fight. So much like in the real uh, UFC, we give players the opportunity to train at different camps. This year it's not boxer, wrestler, you know, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu guy. You're just learning specific moves and you go work with members of these camps to get these moves. So for example, if I'm in, you know, uh, heavyweight, I work with Junior and, uh, on boxing and I work with Noguera on my Jiu Jitsu. And as a result, I'll get these specific moves that I'll be able to apply to my fighter. So in career mode, on top of being able to create my own fighter, I could create my body type, my weight class, um, what brand shorts I wear, um, what sponsors I have, and then I can also choose what camp I want to go train with. Correct. And all of these things get unlocked in tiers. When you first start out in your career, nobody knows you, nobody wants to sponsor you, you know. But if you fight better, if you start winning, people will start to recognize you, notice you, and want to offer you stuff. You've had like a long uh, career in history with these guys and kind of watched them all grow up. You know, they came from all different places. Lyoto, he got his first fight in the U.S. here, was in the WFA. And what a great segue, you know, in our career mode, we have this aspect of where instead of, you know, jumping right into the UFC, you actually start off your fights in the WFA, much like Lyoto, and then at some point if you perform well, you actually get to move up into the UFC. I think they got a, a little taste of some of the features in the career mode for UFC Undisputed 2010. I think so. For the full interview, go to community.ufcundisputed.com.